This video was funded by Maker Studios. Just landed in Washington, D.C., about to prove that you can have a monumentally rich experience here without going broke. For real. Getting low in Washington, D.C. Low in Washington, D.C. We're spending a full day in Washington, D.C. for under $120. But first, we've got to get there. Now, since I fly from Los Angeles, sometimes I've been able to go round trip to D.C. on Virgin America for under $300. I've also found some dope airfare deals on Priceline.com. You get this smart trip card for $2, add $14.50 to it, and you can ride all day on the Metro. $16.50. Hostels are a great opportunity to explore a new spot. So, we're checking out Capital Comfort Hostel. Rates start at $25. And if you find a spot anywhere else that's lower than this, they promise to meet that price and to drop it by 5%. That's high-end hosteling. It's a little nippy. I'm tearing up a tad bit. Oh my gosh, look at this cornucopia of meat. I'm not being greedy, I'm just getting meaty. Hot sauce will boost the flavor of just about anything. I believe in it. Ordered all this so that you don't have to. Here's the deal, the sausage, not my favorite. Ribs, nice. But that brisket though. I had to choose between the lean brisket and the moist brisket. Chose the moist, made the right choice. It's about $13 per half pound of that moist brisket. You get a quarter pound of it. So that'll put you at about, what, $6.50? I think they'll throw in some white bread for you so you can sop up the extra juices. Maybe get aside the collard greens and the macaroni and cheese. You have yourself a nice meal for low price. You earned it. And here in Chinatown, you'll see that just about every store, every shop, has its name written. <laughs> Chill out, pigeons. Just about every store, every restaurant, has its name written in its original English characters, as well as in Chinese characters. Nicely authentic. Let's dive into these cakes! If I'm gonna eat a cupcake on the corner, this is the joint that I need to be having my cupcake from. Red Velvet Cupcakery. They make more than just Red Velvet Cupcakes. This one right here is an eggnog one. Freaking delicious. $3.25. It's on point. Cupcake stash. One of the best parts about visiting the Smithsonian Museums is the free admission. It's gonna cost us zero. We're planet hopping. It's so crazy. In the Air and Space Museum gift shop, you can get all sorts of freeze dried foods. They're actually edible. Some bananas, Neapolitan ice cream, just like how the astronauts do. Six bucks a pack for a meal, kind of. Freeze dried vanilla ice cream. My first bite, it's not love. I think your saliva starts to break it down and mix together. It starts to taste like some kind of food. It's not my favorite flavor, but it is an experience. In the midst of this city, kick it with kale. Take a stroll through the National Art Gallery Sculpture Garden. This is free. This Lichtenstein piece is my favorite one in the garden. It plays with your perspective. Here's what I mean. You can take a skate for about $11.50. 
when you come to visit Washington, D.C., here is a place where you can help to share and spend some of your time at Bread for the City, a nonprofit organization where you get a chance to volunteer your time to feed this community. So right now, we're in Northwest Washington, D.C. They have a location over in Southeast as well. Visit their website so that you can make sure that everything that you need to do is done before you show on up. The Washington Monument will give you a high experience for a low price because it's free. The Lincoln Memorial. The Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial. You can tour the White House for free. Go online for details. I'm at Ben's Chili Bowl. Even President Obama has come through this place. The hot dogs here, when you add chili on top of them, delicious. And you can get one for just $4.40. Make sure you add this to your list. If you want to dress up some and have a classy meal, head on over to the National Press Club. You might find that the mini prices are a little higher than what the typical fare may be, but if you go to a site like TravelZoo, you'll find some fantastic deals that might be able to land you a pretty incredible meal. Like tonight, we got crab cakes, and a couple of different wines, and appetizers, and it all came in at a very reasonable price. So thank you for joining us as we went tripping solo in Washington, D.C. this time. Follow me on Twitter. I'll keep you posted on the next spot that we visit. And I want to see everything that you happen to be doing in cities that you think are worth sharing with the world. Goodbye.